And the mu'min, the believer, by following the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa by following the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa the believer will automatically recognize the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa In fact, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa has told us, he has given us a prescription that you don't have to wait till you get to the grave to see the image of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa You don't have to wait till the day of judgment to see the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa You can see him in this world in your dreams. And Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa has told us, Man ra'ani faqad ra'ani fa inna shaytan la yatamathalu bi. In the hadith of Bukhari, the Prophet ﷺ says, Whosoever has seen me in a dream has truly seen me in a dream because the shaitan can't take my form in a dream. But even if you see the Prophet ﷺ in a dream, it has to be according to the features and description of the Prophet ﷺ in a hadith. You can't see any person claiming that he is a prophet and he tells you that and then you just believe it. No. It will be in accordance with exactly the way the Rasulullah was. For example, he will have a, a face that had a had, or he had a face that had a complexion of whiteness with a touch of red. Rasulullah had a broad forehead. He had hair that was kept. Rasulullah had hair that he used to comb back and sometimes he used to flick it back. This was not some hairstyle. This was truly oiled, hair that was oiled, and then basically the Prophet used to comb it, and then he used to flatten his hair, and he used to go all the way back, sometimes to his earlobe, and sometimes he used to drop to his, to his collarbone, and sometimes he used to grow all the way to the extent of his, of his shoulders. This was the Prophet ﷺ's three sunnah he had. Lumma, Jumma, Wafra. Lumma is up to, these are three descriptions in Ahadith of Tirmidhi, Lumma is up to his, the ear, his earlobes, Jumma is up to his collarbones, and Wafra is up to the Prophet Sallallahu extent of his shoulders. Prophet Sallallahu had a nose, not too sharp and not blunt either, it was in between. Rasulullah Sallallahu had a slight bridge on his nose. Rasulullah Sallallahu had, you know, he had a wide mouth. He did not have a small mouth, he had a wide mouth. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, if you could ask the brothers to please move forward, thank you. Our brothers, please try and move forward. Come, come up to here, brothers, and, and move forward. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam had <coughs> his his shoulders, his shoulders joints, his elbow joints, his knee joints, and so on were broad. Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, his eyebrows were were not uh, joined together, but they were slightly curved. Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, his eyes, his pupils of his eyes were dark. And black. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he always had a smile on his face. Whoever sees the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, this is including dreams as well. If you see the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam first time, you feel an awe. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam inspires awe into you. And then you continue to see him and then you feel at ease with him. And you feel love of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is all described by the, by the Sahaba Radiallahu Anhum Ajma'een. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had a beard that was thick. And his beard was his full fist. And his fist and his hand was a large hand. In fact, he had a very soft hand. Anyone that makes, anyone that does musafaha with the Prophet ﷺ, anyone that will meet the Prophet ﷺ in a dream, his hand will be exactly as described by Anas radiallahu anhu. It has to be exactly described like that, which is very cushiony. His hand had a very soft, you know some people you, you shake their hand and they have a nice cushiony feeling to their hand, a very warm, you know, welcome they give. Rasulullah had that. And his hand was also, his skin was also, you know, it's it basically, you know, silk, the way silk can be soft. That's how the Prophet Sallallahu's hands were. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, <coughs> he had a thin line of hair on his <coughs> chest, going all the way down to his belly button. Rasulullah Sallallahu behind his shoulder blades, he had the seal of prophethood, which was a small lump with a bit of hair on it. That was that is between his shoulder blades. There will be no one born until the day of judgment with that naturally between their shoulder blades. It is only Prophet ﷺ that has had that. Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he the sole of his feet. He had a bridge, he had a bridge in the sole of his of his, of his foot, and this showed the the um, you know the, the, the courage that the Prophet sallallahu had. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he had a lot of meat on his around the heels of his feet. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he used to walk, he used to walk as if he's coming down a hill. He's all described in a hadith. Right? He used to come described coming down a hill, meaning that he used to swiftly move his feet 
in. And unless you see a person who can imitate this to you, or you see the Prophet walking in a dream, it is not clear of exactly how this, because this Rasulullah used to walk very swiftly on the ground, but he used to walk very humbly. Imagine you're coming down a hill, what you would do is that you will come down, but you would put your feet down firmly. You put it fast and firmly down. And Prophet ﷺ, when he used to walk on normal ground, Prophet ﷺ used to walk in this very swift manner. In fact, his Sahaba used to find it hard to catch up with the Prophet ﷺ. And they say that when the, when the, when the uh, battle got tough, when the battle got really tough, they say we used to hide behind the Prophet ﷺ on the battlefield. So he had a great courage. Rasulullah when he used to become angry, then his cheeks used to go red and there used to be vein on his forehead that would swell. Prophet hair was dark and black and Rasulullah's hair was not wavy, nor was it straight. It was in between. And the Prophet when he passed away, his Sahabi says that I counted on the Prophet's head, I found 17 white hairs. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now you, you see the Rasulullah in a dream, you will have to see him with all the details that I've just given you. And if you see him in a dream with all the details that I've just given him, then you will definitely know that he's the Prophet You can't just see any individual and he claims to you that I am the Prophet in a dream and you just take that as granted.